Hi, I'm Dave Senkfor with Top Gun Consulting and I'm here over at Westmec out in Glendale, Arizona and I'm here today with Adriana Parsons who's the PIO and then I'm also here with uh, Ron Kalmbach, he's a program specialist and uh, we're here today to talk about what Westmec offers, what they do and specifically in relation to their precision machining program which they're uh, really uh, ranking up here by building a new facility uh, and they should have that figure finished by March, you said, Ron? March. Yeah. March, okay, March. great. So, uh, I don't know who wants to talk first, but why don't you tell me a little bit about Westmec and uh, their various facilities and generally what their programming is. Mm -hmm. well, thank you. Well, Westmec, we are a public school district and we're dedicated solely to career and technical education. And what we do is we provide these CTE programs in two models. We have programs called satellite programs, and those are on 46 high school campuses throughout our 12 member school districts. Which are basically located in the western side of yes. Phoenix. Yep, northern and western parts of Maricopa County. And then we have our Westmec Central programs, and those are programs operated by Westmec, our community college campuses, and then we do have some central programs on high school campuses, and it gives the students flexibility to leave their home campus and then come to Westmec to take a certified career and technical education program. And about how many total different programs? Do you have an idea what the total number of program numbers are that you might offer through Westmec and the Satellite wow. programs, we have several hundred programs that wow. are out there. Programs like culinary arts, nursing, accounting, marketing. But for Westmec, we are currently operating seven programs and we're introducing seven new programs for fall 2014. So uh, that's what you offer in general, but why don't you tell me a little bit about the precision machining? So the program itself will start fall 2014 and uh, maximum student load will be 25. We will have a nice complement of machines, which will include five lays, manual lays, five uh, manual mills. We'll have two CNC machines. We'll have some surface grinders, of course, horizontal mill and some other equipment grinders. So we're going to have a nice facility and 3,500 square feet, brand new, ready to operate, and of course, all the hand tooling that goes along with it. So. Very uh, stellar program. I think it's going to be uh, a complement to the manufacturers here in the Valley. Uh, we expect students to come out of the program ready to go into a career of manufacturing. Students that have been involved with auto tech, uh, that is always a complement to the students because it's hands-on. And students that understand hands-on, have some mathematical skills, have a little science base, they're, they're going to do very well in this program and there is a, a need for it. So we're excited about it. We have Building B that's going to be ready, as Dave, Dave said, in March. And uh, currently we have an adult program that operates here in the facility and they run from 5.30 to 9.30 every night. And uh, so that's a compliment. And of course there's the option that they could uh, go into the apprenticeship program and get some further training and really end up being a full-time bona fide machinist. manufacturing machinist and uh, that would be their designated career. What's the ages for those programs and is there any real cost for that? I, I don't... I do. Yeah, what we're looking for is we're looking primarily for, it's a two-year program, so we're looking for juniors and seniors mm -hmm. and so the cost is going to be very minimal so usually up front there's a cost of like uh, sixty dollars mm -hmm. to get into the program and so it's going to be very minimal cost for the students and I think that's kind of going to be the, the attraction to it. That program will be basically offered right here on this campus. Um, some of the other uh, high schools and so forth are offering some programming but not as much. Um, but how would a student get more information about these programs? 
We ask our students to go directly to their guidance counselors on their home high schools. What we do with WestMAC, we go out and we share information to counselors, CT teachers, and administrative staff on those high school campuses so that they can educate the students about these opportunities that are elective classes that they can take. So when a student meets with his or her counselor, they can go through and say, okay, I need to take core credits here at my home high school, but then I can take my elective credits through WestMAC, and so we really work closely with those counselors. And then once they are ready to apply, WestMEC has an online application that we have our students fill out. What other programs uh, are you guys thinking about in this area or perhaps some other areas that they might be attracted to out here at WestMEC? Well, the, the new programs that are coming on board, which will include not only uh, the manufacturing, uh, it'll be uh, avionics, which will be a complement to the aviation program, and then we'll have a bona fide welding program. And then on the northeast campus, we're going to have uh, uh, heating and air conditioning, which is going to be a very strong program. We're going to have uh, uh, vet tech, uh, medical assisting, and then we're going to currently move the auto collision program from Paradise Valley over to the northeast campus. Now, WestMEC has several campuses. Um, I, we're at the one here at Glendale Airport, but where are the other facilities that WestMEC has that they operate themselves? Sure, right now we're at our central campus, and then we have a cosmetology facility in Peoria. Right. We have another cosmetology and esthetician program based out of the Northeast Campus with Maricopa Skill Center. We are currently, as Ron said, building our Northeast Campus near right. the Deer Valley Airport. Okay. And because voters passed a $74.9 million bond initiative, we will be able to grow campuses in the Surprise area as well as the Southwest Valley in the Buckeye area. Part of the WestMEC philosophy is to make sure that students come out of the program well balanced. So we do a lot of work-based learning activities and part of that is Skills USA, which is a career and technical education student organization. So we are really coming to a point where students realize that they need these soft skills. They need to know how to interview. They need to have a good resume. They need to know how to get a job, how to keep a job, how to show up on time, uh, how to deal with other people, how to deal with tough situations. So SkillsUSA does that. It gives them some chance to develop some leadership. It gives them a chance to compete in their chosen field. And it's twofold. It does. It really helps develop the leadership, and then it helps uh, in terms of the competition. And is the precision machine curriculum, is that going to be to getting the NIMS certification? NIMS will be definitely a part of the curriculum, and uh, we are currently working to uh, get that established, and I hope to make the first step on that before the first of the year. Mm -hmm. And uh, any program that we have, we have, uh, we want to make sure that we're certified. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, that's we part have, of the process. Yeah, we want to make sure that kids are able to get uh, certifications, licensures, and things that they need to show that they are, in fact, bona fide workers and they, they're ready for the world to work. Uh, thank you very much for the two of you spending your time and uh, being able to talk about this, these, uh, these school buildings that, frankly, I had no idea were even out here when I moved out here to the Valley. And it's uh, uh, all these JTETs uh, uh, offer these kinds of programming uh, to the state. And it's a great asset. And I hope that we're able to get more students into all of these programs because there are jobs out there. There's all kinds of jobs out there, well-paying jobs, and we've uh, got to get these kids into these programs that are basically uh, just an extension of their regular school work. So thank you again, and uh, I wish Wes Mac the best of luck in the future. Thank you. Thank you.